The second thing that makes us a prosperous soul on inside is when we move from tipping to tithing. That means when we put God as the Lord of our finances. The challenge that we have as Christians many times is that when we begin to envision and begin to have positive view about our future, even though when things are hard, the mistake many people make where many times these promises don't work is this, is when people begin to read a lot of books about money and they begin to read a lot of, go to seminars, they're like, yeah, that's it, I'm gonna invest, I'm gonna, you know, start a business, I'm gonna do this with my finance, I'm gonna cut the plastic, the credit cards out, I'm gonna stop, you know, buying these things, I'm gonna put my money to bring me more money and they get all pumped with this new vision and new ideas. But they never make it to step, step number two. It's when you think that putting yourself in charge of your finances will make you a prosperous person and not allowing the God who gave you the very brains which can fathom those ideas to be the first and your best partner. Many of us we accept Jesus into our heart as our Savior but we will never accept Him as the Lord in the area of our finances because accepting Jesus as the Lord in the area of your finances cannot be done verbally and cannot be done with saying a prayer. It can only be done by an act of actually putting him first in your finances. Not your mouth, but your finances. And then God begins to be in charge of the rest of the things. Same thing happened to Bartimaeus. When he got his vision, the first thing that he did, surprisingly, he didn't go back home. Look for his parents or look for his brothers and sisters and say, guys, I can see. Surprisingly, Bartimaeus didn't go to a library and quickly started typing his resume. He didn't go and start to start write a book so he can become a bestseller and he can quickly make money. The Bible says the first thing when he got his vision, he didn't run after money. He said, I am going to run after Jesus. That means when a person gets a positive vision, they have to put Jesus first in their finances. And the way we do that as Christians is by this principle, discipline, and an act of obedience we call tithing. Now there's a difference between tithing and tipping. I'm going to give you the difference. Tipping is what people do who don't put Jesus first in their finances. Now some are still Christian and some are still going to heaven but tipping is this. It's whatever I have extra or I don't need or left over, I hand it over to God. That's tipping. You can only do that to someone who is not the Lord of your life. Tithing is not extra left over. I'll see at the end of the month, whatever is in my wallet, how I feel it. Tithing is this. When the check comes in, you go to the bank or it gets deposited. 10% gets immediately pulled out without even second thoughts. Put into an envelope, sealed, and you don't even entertain one thought. I wonder what I could buy with those money. But you only have one thought ringing in your mind. The person I'm linking up with, is the maker of heaven and the earth. The only reason I have a heartbeat is because he made it. The only reason I'm able to give that because he gave me that opportunity and he is not a taker. He has so much he doesn't need my money but I need his mercy and blessing on the rest of the 90%. He's watching this. He knows this. I'm making a deal. I'm not an idiot. I'm a smart person. I want to partner with the richest, the wisest and most generous and I choose to partner with him.